In this project, we're going to look at the YouTube AP Data API version 3. Alright, so this will be the first project where we actually deal with a third party API. So, with the YouTube API, you can do a lot of different things. You can list videos, channels, playlists. You can even upload videos through it, um, update videos, all kinds of things, manage ads. So in this project, we're going to be using the search API so that we can actually have a, a YouTube search engine all on our site. All right, even the results will open up in a in a light box so we can watch the video on site. All right, so complete YouTube video search script data API version three. OK, it's really important because um, version two is still available, but I would definitely suggest um, if you want to learn about the API, use version 3. Uh, animated search box, all right? So this will be another piece of JavaScript on this in this application. When we click in the search box, it'll extend. It'll kind of animate and grow bigger. And when you click out, it'll shrink back up. We'll use the channel list and search list methods, okay, which I'll explain later in the chapter. Um, we're going to use the fancy box plugin to open videos, all right? We don't want the search engine to find the videos and then us have us click on them and take us to YouTube to watch them. We want them right on site. So we're going to use this plugin to actually play the videos in a light box. And we'll also have previous and next page paging. So section one is the intro. Section two is going to be the HTML and CSS. Section three will be the search bar style and animation. Section four, we'll learn how to make a, uh, an API get request through jQuery. Section five, we'll be displaying the results from that get request response. And then in section six, we'll add the paging buttons and also the video light box. So you'll learn a lot in this, in this project. Um, we'll look at the jQuery animate method for the search box. Of course, the YouTube Data API, uh, we're going to learn quite a bit about it. Uh, making get requests using the get method, uh, looping through a result set, and dynamically inserting it into the HTML, and API page tokens, and uh, the faint, fancy box jQuery plugin, uh, which we'll use to watch the videos. Alright, so there's a lot to learn in this chapter, and let's get started.